Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's time for an update on these twin fells. No ID, Trader Joe fells, but they came in the same pot. So I separated them and at the time I wanted to experiment full like Lekka beads, full hydro corn, semi water culture versus full pure manto clay. Um, semi water culture. So I thought I would give you some updates on these two twin fowls and how they're doing. Overall they both are doing really well. The one on the right as you can see are growing keikis. And the f its first keiki ha is already rather rather established. Two of its roots are actually growing into the media. Let's see. This one is also a keiki root that is growing into the media. So it's definitely more than three inches long, that one. But this one is probably just about two inches. Uh, maybe almost two inches. This is also a keiki root. So overall it has three roots. And then the mother plant is growing three smaller leaves and I suspect that is because it's giving its more energy to this keiki and another keiki at the base. But this one, there, I wish I can show you a little better. That keiki is growing two leaves but I haven't seen any roots coming out. But based on the foliage, I think it's doing just fine. And I actually got a question from a subscriber asking if I'm going to remove these keikis. Personally, right now, given that, you know, I already have a lot of orchids and pots, I intend to, I'm inclined, <laughs> I'm leaning toward not to separate them just for the sake of experiment experimenting um, I know eventually these keikis will grow large enough to to be taking energy from the mother plant but you know I, I really don't want to have too many no ID fowls the, of the same kind in different pots um, I just want them to grow together and and see how they do that way plus if they if things go south right they don't do well this is an OID fell from a really, really common phalaenopsis, so it's very replaceable. So <laughs> some of you may think that I, that's just so mean, but hey, they're replaceable. They're they're helping us understand if I don't separate them, how they grow, and you know I'm testing out the media, so um, I would try not to do too much of cutting and nipping um, so I can understand better how they do. Now, this one is growing leaves and new roots and this root is currently trying to grow into the media so I'm happy about that. New roots coming out from the back, that's good. But again, it's growing a basil cakey right here. Not sure if this is the characteristic of this particular cross. Uh, they're, they are both trying to grow keikis. Right there, that is a better view of the keiki. It's currently trying to grow another keiki. At first I thought it was a spike. I was like, wow, this one just finished blooming. I actually kept the, f the flower spike a little bit. I thought it was shooting out another flower spike, but eventually it grew up to be a leaf, so I know it, it would, it's a keiki. So I suspect this is just, you know, the way that this crust likes to do. But overall, <clears throat> back to the, the experiment. They're doing pretty well. I do like the fact that the hydrocorn beads allow more room in between. 
so the roots can actually grow down probably easier. But this one, again, see, it's very soft and flimsy to me. And I kind of don't like that, and it's really light. Manto clay has weight, um, but it does <clears throat> ha it does have little, uh, no, I wouldn't say little, just less um, aeration in between pebbles. So the roots probably would have slightly harder time growing into the media. I'm still observing this particular experiment just just so I can draw some conclusion. I think, you know, I would eventually, I, I'm currently already using some mixture of the two for certain orchids and I actually see some pretty good results um, I, so so that way, if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, or even two <clears throat> two lec um, two lecards or two hydrocorn beads and one part manto clay that has been working pretty well for me because um, I do see more aeration, more space in between pebbles and 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 the leca beads. So that way, the roots can grow into. I'll probably make another video on I think two or three fowls that are already growing roots into the reservoir um, in this semi-hydroponic growing method. So I will make that video very soon to share with you to show you how how they do. Um, but overall, these two are doing fine. I don't intend to remove their keikis, I just want to see how they do. Um, <clears throat> and again, they're replaceable, so if they eventually um, <laughs> go away, die, I will not be too sad. But, you know, I still thank for their service, for helping me under better understand um, as well for this particular cross, for this particular type of orchid, how they grow and how they do how they fare in semi hydroponics and you know in this kind of media versus manto clay. Anyway, this video is getting too long, so I want to end this video by saying thank you for all the comments and thanks for visiting my channel. I really enjoy um, exchanging um, ideas and more ideas um, with all of you. Thanks again, and I wish a I wish you a very great day. Happy growing, everybody. Ciao.